So here I am in the uh, wilds of Epping Forest and uh, the idea is to uh, try out my first impressions of the Olympus EM1 while walking the dog in the background there. Um, so, first impressions are there's not many flagship cameras you can just fit in the pocket of your uh, waterproof jacket as you go out on the day just after a massive great rainstorm. So that's quite a win for the Olympus and this is the basically the, the idea that excites me about it as much is the sheer fact that you can get a full-fledged camera inside your hand like that. Tiny little thing. Um, so let's see how it goes. So the uh, camera seems relatively easy to understand. Um, got a proper on off switch which is always nice and easy to find. Um, and if you put it into aperture priority mode and we've got on the front the 12 to 40 mil lens which is equivalent to a 24 to 80 if you're a Canon if you're a Canon or a Nikon full frame user. So what I found is how the hell you switch autofocus on. Let's go and find out how we do that. Well the classic Olympus gotcha. Um, I looked at the back of the camera on the menu there seemed to be no way to switch uh, manual focus on manual focus off because it would seem to be on. Um, looked on the side there was no switches for the um, lens as there is on the um, Canons. Um, I have no one idea what this LFN button does but pressing it doesn't seem to do anything. So I nearly gave up and then I remembered so many times that before that if you accidentally move this sleeve here on the on the Olympuses then that's what happens. That's autofocus, that's manual focus. Really easy to knock, it's probably um, so far I can see that's going to be an annoyance but I suppose once you're used to it it's pretty easy to get get round. Uh, flip round display really makes uh, shooting at low level an absolute breeze and you see the camera just so light I can hold it in one end. I'm liking this camera, I'm liking it a lot. A little bit weird. Um, I figure this must be an Olympus, well it's one of Olympus's loan cameras and somebody set it up strange because I've got it in aperture priority and the small dial nearest us seems to just adjust the uh, white balance and the one at the back seems to adjust the shutter speed which is all very weird considering I'm in aperture priority. So uh, that looks like another thing I've got to play with on the menus. Um, as I said the camera was doing some weird stuff um, and it took about 10 seconds for me to work out where the settings were in the camera uh, and what does what. Nice little diagram of the camera on the back, what mode you're in and how you want to set it. So at the moment for aperture priority I've got it set to F number on one and exposure compensation on the other. So I like that, it's pretty cool. So it turns out I was wrong. Um, Although those settings do make a difference, actually what really makes a difference is this little switch here which gives you, means that these two dials here do completely different functions. So I changed that wondering what it did and now I know. Um, what I'm really liking, I think it's really cool because I'm that sort of guy, is I think it's really cool that when you put your eye up to the viewfinder um, it suddenly switches. Uh, to show in the display in the viewfinder detects your eye, which is pretty cool. Um, I like simple gimmicks like that. So build-wise, the uh, Olympus seems pretty strong so far. I've already just clumped it on the side of uh, my lead for walking the dog, um, and it didn't seem to show it make any difference. Um, it's quite possibly quite a damp day today. Um, We've already had some massive thunderstorms. I'm hoping we don't get too much more rain, but who knows. Um, it's possible we could be testing out. Claire from Olympus assures me it is uh, waterproof, so we'll test that. But generally speaking, it feels like a good, robust bit of kit. I'm, I'm quite liking this. Um, fits in your hand quite well. And um, I, I think it possibly feels a bit more robust, maybe because it's smaller than a, than a Canon. Um, not much in it. Um, my cannons have hit car parts from six or seven foot. Um, didn't like that too much. And uh, I had seawater in them. Uh, that wrecks the board as well. So 
maybe the Olympus would stand up to about the same level of treatment, I think. Certainly not less, just for being a little small camera. So that concludes about an hour shooting with the uh, little Olympus EM1 Mark II. Uh, all in all, in first impressions are it's a really good camera. Um, usage wise, didn't take me much more getting used to than, say, moving from one Canon to another. Uh, a few of the switches are in different places, but you can sort of work out what they were if you're a, a reasonably experienced photographer. Um, some of the other dials and buttons, still not sure what they do. Maybe I should read the manual, find some stuff about it. Um, exactly the same thoughts I have about uh, the 5DS when I picked that up. Uh, some of it I understood, some of it I discovered months later when I actually got around to reading the manual. So, all in all, first impressions very positive. Um, let's see what the pictures look like when we get home.